<laughs> Little Johnny's first grade class was playing Name That Animal. The teacher held up a picture of a cat and asked, What animal is this? A cat, said Susie. Good job. Now what's this animal? A dog, said Ricky. Good. Now what animal is this? She asked, holding up a picture of a deer. The class fell silent. After a couple of minutes, the teacher said, It's what your mom calls your dad. I know, called out little Johnny. A horny... It's 11 p.m. The husband isn't home yet, and the wife is waiting in the kitchen with a rolling pin. The doorbell rings. The wife opens the door. Her husband is standing there, a bouquet of red roses in one hand, a cake in the other, and a gentle smile on his face. Good evening, dear. This is for you. Oh, darling, is it some kind of holiday today? Our wedding anniversary? No, just because... Let's go to the bedroom, shall we? Wait, at least have dinner first. No, no, let's go. Well, at least have some tea with the cake. No, let's go quickly. Ah, well, heavy sigh. You see, I can't tonight. Did all of you conspire against me or something? God said, Adam, I want you to do something for me. Gladly, Lord, replied Adam. What do you want me to do? Go down into the valley. What is a valley? asked Adam. God explained to him, then said, Cross the river. What is a river? God explained it to him, and then continued, Go over the hill. What is a hill? God explained to Adam what a hill was, then said, On the other side of the hill, you will find a cave. What is a cave? After God explained, he said, In the cave, you will find a woman. Adam asked, What is a woman? So God explained that to him too. He continued, I want you to reproduce. How do I do that? Jeez, God muttered under his breath. He then sighed and explained the birds and the bees to Adam. He liked that concept very much, so he went down into the valley, across the river, over the hill, and into the cave where he found a woman. A little while later, Adam returned and asked God, What is a headache? Three men were talking. The first one said, Imagine, I went to a store with my girlfriend, and she saw such s**ties. It cost me thirty dollars. The second one said, well, I went to a store with my wife, and she saw panties with diamonds. It cost me a pile of money. The third one said, My wife saw some panties, just ordinary ones, nothing special. It cost me $3,000 and a divorce. The first and second guys asked, In which store did she find them? The third guy replied, In which store? Under our bed. Paddy and his two friends are talking at a bar. His first friend says, I think my wife is having an affair with the electrician. The other day I came home and found wire cutters under our bed, and they weren't mine. His second friend says, I think my wife is having an affair with the plumber. The other day I found a wrench under the bed, and it wasn't mine. Paddy says, I think my wife is having an affair with a horse. Both his friends look at him with utter disbelief. No, I'm serious. The other day I came home and found a jockey under our bed. The plane is taking off, the pilot announces over the intercom. Our flight will be at an altitude, etc. and so on. Forgets to turn off the microphone and turns to the co-pilot. So, we'll take off now? Put the plane on autopilot, have a coffee, this and go to sleep. Everyone in the cabin can hear it. Everyone is laughing. The stewardess runs from the tail of the plane to the cockpit to warn about the pilot's microphone being on. Trips, falls. An elderly lady sitting by the aisle, a gentle soul, says, My dear, don't rush. He hasn't even had his coffee yet. There were three men discussing how to make their wives to tell them if they cheated on them. The first guy says, I go home after work at night, lie on the couch, turn on the television and ask, Woman, you cheated on me today. Who? 
Me, my husband. Could I ever do such a thing? Pissed off as I am, I get up, put her down, punch her, and in the end she can't take it anymore and admits, I cheated on you with Nick. The second guy says, I do exactly the same thing. I punch her, and finally she says, I cheated on you with Jake. The third guy says, I have no problem at all. I go home, undress, put the sweatpants on, light my cigarette on, I go out to the balcony, see the neighbor spreading clothes and shout at her, Mary, you are a And then she starts saying, I'm a Or your wife who sleeps with John, Mark, Peter. A husband and wife are making love with the wife on top. She wants to try something different. Let's pretend we're in the rain. Take a shower head and spray water on my back. The husband does so and continues. But it doesn't feel right. There's rain, but no lightning. The husband moves a lamp and pulls a cord with one hand while spraying water with the other. Now there's no thunder. Bring a basin. The husband pulls the cord with one hand, sprays water with the other, and stomps his foot in the basin. Then he throws everything away and yells, Who the hell would want to make love in this kind of weather? There were these two guys working late in a morgue, when one guy said, Hey man, there is a woman in there with a shrimp in her The other asked, What is a shrimp doing a dead woman's let me go see. Both of them went in the room with the woman, and they both curiously looked. Finally, the second man said, You idiot! This isn't shrimp, it's a And the other man replied, Well, it tasted like shrimp to me. Little Johnny was walking through the city when he met his aunt. She asked him, Where are you going, Johnny? I'm going to the He replied, His aunt, Outraged, immediately slapped him on the left cheek. Johnny continued walking and met his uncle, who asked, Where are you in such a hurry, Johnny? I'm going to the... He answered. His uncle slapped him on the right cheek. Johnny kept walking and met his teacher, who greeted him. Hello, Johnny. Where are you headed so early? I'm going to the... Marks, Johnny responded. He received two more slaps from his teacher. Finally. He approached the and met the owner at the entrance. What do you want, boy? She asked. I need to go inside, Johnny insisted. He was immediately slapped several times. Annoyed, Johnny exclaimed, This is too much. Next time, let Grandpa come and get his hat himself. A drunk guy is sitting at a bar by himself one night and throws up all over the front of his shirt. Oh, great. My wife is going to kill me, he mumbles to himself. The guy sitting next to him sees what has happened and leans over towards him. Hey, buddy, just put a $20 bill in your shirt pocket, and when you get home, tell your wife the guy sitting next to you threw up on you and he gave you $20 to get your shirt cleaned. Completely inebriated, the drunk man thanks his new friend and puts a 20 in his shirt pocket and heads for home. As soon as he walks through the front door, his wife becomes irate and starts yelling at him, Where have you been? You're completely drunk and you're a mess. Look at yourself. You puked all over the front of your shirt. Completely wasted and slurring his words, he explains to the wife, No, no. The guy sitting next to me threw up on my shirt and he gave me $20 to get it cleaned. Look, it's right here in my shirt pocket. The wife reaches into his pocket and pulls out the money. There's forty dollars in here. Oh yeah, he sh my pants too. Once a young family, the father, the mother, and their six-year-old son were at home. The mother was in the shower, and the father, after her, went to rinse his face. Not realizing that he had forgotten to lock the bathroom door, he saw his wife's naked body in the shower and decided to take advantage of the situation. He approached her from behind and started having intercourse. Meanwhile, their son opened the door, saw the scene, widened his eyes, and stood there watching. 
the father noticed his son and, not knowing what to do, pretended to scold his wife and started spanking her on the buttocks, saying, Don't hit our son. Don't hit. The son replied, That's right, Dad. And two, tell him not to scratch me either. A train conductor is driving a train with 50 passengers on railroad tracks. He misses the last stop and crashes the train, killing everyone on the train except him. He gets sentenced to death by the electric chair, but gets offered a last meal first. He accepts, choosing just one banana. After eating his banana, he goes into the execution room and sits on the chair. He gets given the shock, but nothing happens. They give him the shock again, and again nothing happens. They let him go and he gets his train conductor license again. He has 60 passengers, and the same occurrence as last time happens, and he gets the same sentence. Upon being asked what he'd like for his last meal, he chooses two bananas. He eats them, then enters the room and sits on the chair. He gets given the lethal shock, but nothing happens. They try a few more times with the same result. They decide to let him go, and he gets his train conductor license back. He has 69 passengers on board when he crashes, and everyone except him dies. He gets given the same sentence, but when he asks for three bananas as his last meal, they say, No, I think the bananas have been making you invulnerable to the chair, so he sits down on an empty stomach. When he survives multiple shocks again, they ask, How are you surviving? We didn't let you have any bananas. And he replies, It's not the bananas. I'm just a bad conductor. One man had a small p So he went to the doctor with this problem. As happens in all jokes of this kind, the doctor gave him super new pills that needed to be taken once a day. But the man, unable to wait, ate the whole pack at once. The next morning, he discovered a hose a hundred meters long. He decided to go to the doctor again, and to disguise his business, he wound it around his arm and covered it with a raincoat. He went outside, caught a taxi, and went to the doctor. The taxi driver asked him, Hey man, why are you covering yourself with a raincoat? You won't believe it. Imagine. And he told him his whole story. Listen man, show me. I don't believe it. Here, look. Oh my, listen, let's quickly go to my place. I want to show my wife this miracle, and then I'll drive you home for free. Okay. They arrived at the taxi driver's house. The man told him, You take the end and go to your place, and I'll wait here. And that's what they did. The taxi driver came home, showed his wife this long thing, and said, Look, what a huge and its owner is sitting downstairs, in my car. Wow! Then run quickly, invite him to visit us. I want to see all of this together. The taxi driver left the end of the and ran to the man and said, Hey man, let's go to my place. My wife will make you some tea and all that. Quiet, I think I'm one. Sean Connery was interviewed by Michael Parkinson and bragged that despite his 72 years of age, he could still have three times a night. Kylie Minogue, who was also a guest, looked intrigued. After the show, Kyle said, Sean, if I am not being too forward, I'd love to have older man. Let's go back to my place. So they go back to her place and have great Afterwards, Sean says, if you think that was good, let me sleep for half an hour, and we can have even better But while I'm sleeping, hold my bo hand and my d right hand. Kylie looks a bit perplexed, but says, okay. He sleeps for half an hour, awakens, and they have even better Then, Sean says, Kylie, that was wonderful. But if you let me sleep for an hour, we can have the best but again, hold my bit hand and my d right hand. Kylie is now used to the routine and complies. The results are mind-blowing. Once it's all over and the cigarettes are lit, Kylie asks, 
Sean, tell me, does my holding your left hand and your right stimulate you while you're sleeping? Sean replies, no, but the last time I slept with a Melbourne, she stole my wallet. <laughs> Ha 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 